Welcome back to Millionaire Money Minds. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed and hit that like for the algorithm. And we're just going to get right into it. So listen, when I put out the video about the auto worker industry and the auto workers and President Biden coming to the city so that he could uh, make sure that he secures those votes for his next campaign. I said that the union should want to be very, very careful about the waters that they were treading within that there's a balance, right, that has to play out when you have these moments where unions are rising up against these companies and are hitting them in the pockets, costing them revenue. And there were people in the comments, right, that said, I didn't know what I was talking about. Uh, or maybe that they, maybe it, it was that they thought that I was on the side of the industry and automaker companies because I presented an opposing view and played devil's advocate for the other side of the table. I get it, right? But I, I didn't display, I didn't play devil's advocate to be sensational. I did it to give you all another perspective to think about in order to be better prepared uh, for future consequences that could potentially arise from the result of striking and not going to work. And, you know, my point was that businesses are going to do whatever is necessary in order to preserve capital and maximize profit. That's their job. It's why they exist. Right. That's no secret. So when you have a one sided view or opinion on how things should work, well, then the more you are, the more you tend to subscribe to the idea that your thinking is the only way. And it's the right way. And you cut off your peripheral sight. And now you're exposed to the unknown. Well, what is the unknown in this case? We're going to watch a video. Let's see what they're talking about. Because we're five weeks in. The patient seems to be wearing thin for some members of the UAW. We are five weeks into the strike against Detroit's big three automakers. And as Dave Kinchman reports, some members are urging union leaders to get them back on the assembly line. Mr. Fain, get us back to work. Enough's enough. Darvin Fletcher, a 28-year veteran of Ford Motor Company, <laughs> he said, with a strong back to message work. to union boss he Sean said, enough Fain. Is enough. He's simply tired of being on the picket line at Michigan Assembly in Wayne. The morale is down. I mean, the first week everybody was gung-ho. And as of strike week five, times are only getting tougher. I go with the B.B. King song. The thrill is gone. Nobody wants to do this. We're all going financially bankrupt. You know, we weren't even getting a full 40 hours a week since like May. Look at them. They look so disheartened. They, they look so disheartened. We're going to get into it because I got some further insight to add to this now. But let's 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 finish this video out. And now to be handed five hundred dollars a week before taxes, it's killing us. Darvin says workers are waiting for four five hundred dollars a week before taxes. Five hundred dollars a week before taxes. So <laughs> that means every paycheck, every paycheck you get. It's less than a thousand dollars. You want to talk about having to cut your expenses and cut your finances in half? For a lot of those people, it's way more than in half. That's a huge pay cut. Five hundred dollars a week before taxes. Wow. Atlantis to put all EV battery production in a UAW agreement they can get behind the way GM pledged to do so. Otherwise, he feels Ford has given them a good enough offer that he can live with. Well, like I tell all these young guys, you know, they're wanting the moon and the stars. Take what you can get before you lose what you got. Meantime, experts watching the auto industry say the strike has prompted a That's widening a shortage of mid-sized trucks, which were already in short supply when the strike began back in mid-September. So if you're looking for a Ranger or a Colorado, uh, it may be many months until you can actually find sort of the one you're looking for, uh, because it will take a while to, to rebuild those inventory levels. We were just getting ready to launch the 2024 Ranger and the 2024 Bronco. The 2024 Ranger is sold out for a year. 
and now it's sitting there empty. And that was Fox's Day Kitchen reporting. UAW President Sean Fain has said they won't back down from their demands from Detroit's Big Three. The strike has cost the automotive industry more than seven and a half billion dollars. Wow. More than seven and a half billion dollars. More than seven and a half billion dollars. You cannot be an owner and take that lightly. So, so not only are companies beginning to lay off workers entirely, right, due to a shortage of staff and production, but you also have the fact that there was only about $825 million in the UAW strike fund. And that is looming over people's head. And these people have families to provide for and bills to pay. Bills don't care nothing about you being on strike. At the end of the month, your lights, your water, your car note, your gas, and your rent is still due. So what does that mean? It means that the waters have become a little bit more murky. As these negotiations continue to drag out, the longer it goes, the worse it is on, uh, for these workers. Last offering that all three companies agreed to was cutting the wage uh, tier literally in half from eight years to three and four years. And they offered a 23% wage increase across the board. Sean Fain is still saying that it's not enough. Meanwhile, you got people that are already tired of the strike, right? And they've been dragged and, and they're also dragging the casino workers into this as well. So they are also organizing walkouts and protests, leaving the working staff severely impacted, which impacts business. That's the whole point, right? But as a company, what do you do? Well, you begin to outsource those jobs that your people don't want to work because we still got to open up. We still got to run. Casinos still got to run. And what some of these strikers are saying is that, listen, they're already tired of walking the picket line because here's what here's what I didn't know. Here's what I did not know. Um, my brother's wife works for the casino. And we all went out to dinner last night and I was able to have a lengthy conversation with his wife about what's going on. And she told me that they don't even they don't even have the option to not strike and still be represented by their union. I had no idea. I had no idea that there was a requirement for them to walk the line a certain number of hours per day in order to get that low five hundred dollar check every week. And there is no alternative. Right. You can either walk the picket line in protest or you can be dismissed from union representation. And mind you, it is cold here in Detroit. It's been anywhere from 40 to uh, 50 degrees, sometimes 30 degree uh, days in the month of October. And many of those days that we've had, we've seen rain. So come rain, sneak, sleet, snow, hellfire, brimstone. They got to get out there and walk that line. So you damn right. You got people that want to get back to work like this guy right here. And he sounds like someone that understands how to toe the line. I told y'all, it's got to be a negotiation because if it's not that, then it's a hostile takeover. And that is not going to go down well for any CEO or owner of a company. That is not going to go down well for any group of higher ups there is going to be backlash i told y'all whether regardless regardless of whatever happens regardless of whatever negotiation gets done regardless of whatever deal gets done regardless of whatever it gets signed as far as the contracts goes is concerned it does not matter this will bring about change something is going to happen something is going to happen and it's not going to be good. They've already started outsourcing your jobs. They're already putting a heavy emphasis on autonomy, right? They're already trying to make it so that the machines are pretty much doing what you all are doing. So, again, what these people are asking for, listen, I understand y'all want more money. Well, they gave y'all 23%, okay? What they're still asking for is retirement benefits and... 
Listen, retirement benefits would be great, but I said it before and I'm going to say it again now. You're not getting a pension plan. That is done. That is done. My father had a pension plan working for, for, working for Ford. He was probably the last one that I, last person that I know personally to receive a pension plan from the automaker industry. That is done. They are not, you, listen, you know, do you think, you know how much money they saved by getting you all to transition into the 401k? Do you know how much money they saved by getting you all to fund your own retirement plans? That was the goal for the 401k. You got to remember, they, they, listen, they were getting to a point to where they could not afford these pension plans because you have more and more people working. People are trying to live longer. We're finding ways as a society to try and make people live longer. So now you're paying out more money for longer periods of time. They had to come up with a way to get rid of the pension plan because it was going to kill their business. That is what happened. And that is when somebody was like, all right, how about we have our workers fund their own retirement plan? And we just contribute a little bit. We just throw in a little, we just throw in a little bit off the top. And that's what's happening. And I said this before and I said it again too. A lot of companies are starting to take and halt, take, take away and halt their 401k plans. So who knows how much longer 401ks will be around with the company match. That's why if you have that available to you, you need to be taking advantage of it. You need to be taking full advantage of that company match. You don't know when it's, it might, could be here today, gone tomorrow. But this situation is only going to get worse. The longer this drags out, the worse it gets for the auto workers. $500 a week to handle bills, to handle everything that comes along with some of the way that these people live is going to absolutely crush them. Like you said, you heard them. It's bankrupting them. It's bankrupting them. People are going to have to dip into their savings. They're going to have to dip into their, their other accounts that they were trying to save up, their squirrel funds. They're going to have to dip into their rainy day funds. They're going to have to dip into all types of anything that they had um, set to the side, allocated to the side for um, emergency purposes. They're going to have to start relying on that now because $500 a month, some of that, $500, sorry, $500 a week, some of y'all car notes. Is seven is six seven hundred dollars a month, right? Some of y'all car notes is six seven hundred dollars a month. That's just a car note. Not to mention gas. Not to mention gas and lights, which is going up now because it's getting colder. So people are turning on their heat. So that light bill is about to start going up, right? That's another three three fifty. Easy, easy. So you well over, you had a thousand dollars already. A lot of you. And we hadn't even we haven't even gotten into what it takes to maintain on an everyday basis, especially if you have children. You're talking about lunch. You're talking about uh, lunch for uh, snacks for school, right? You're talking about dinner. You're talking about grocery shopping, which everything again is through the roof. Groceries are up. So that's another easy three to four hundred dollar bill right there. So the point is this. The longer this drags out. The worse it's going to get. Sean Fain better be very careful because in my opinion, he's playing with fire now. You're playing with fire now. And like I said, no matter the outcome. There will be change. You may get what you want. You may even get close to what you want. You may get what you want or you may get close to what you want, right? But after that, there is going to be 
changes are coming. I promise you that. Stay tuned. Yeah.